Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Spray Paint back at you with another video, man. The other half of it's time for that Coach for the Street podcast. So, bro, we got to talk about Lil Reese. Y'all know the audio, I mean, the visual done came out of him when he got arrested in Texas for aggravated assault on a family member, right? Okay. It was basically some domestic junk went on. This was like June the 30th, 2020. Larise was arrested, charged with aggravated assault against a family member. According to Harris County Jail, his original booking date was May 19th. He was soon denied bond. Five days later, on May the 24th, his bond was set to 60K but was never posted. Now y'all remember Larice had went down the road to go do some time. But here's the thing. When they asked him about him pulling out a gun, he just went ahead and said, she the one with the gun. He basically blamed it on the baby mama. The same thing that King Yeller did. He said, why y'all didn't take her? Why y'all didn't take her gun? It's in the house, go get it. She got she got it in there, you know what I mean? I'm telling you, she got the gun inside the house. That's what Larice was basically telling the police on camera. But King Yellow's like, y'all wanna use selected politics because that's y'all favorite rapper. But he basically did the same thing. The gun was the baby mama gun, but the thing is, the police didn't ask who gun it was. They wanted to know, why did you pull a gun out on your baby mama? So everybody looking at Lil Reese like, hmm, did he snitch or did he not? But I want y'all to let me know what y'all think because it ain't no way around it. If they got you in the custody, why is you telling the police that the gun is in the house and it's your baby mama gun? You volunteered to give them that to give them that information, y'all. Y'all drop a comment and let me know how y'all feel. I'll be back with y'all later.